What's up? Tyler from Plugged On. I'm here with an album review. This time I'm going to talk about the new album from August Burns Red titled Guardians. Uh, let's see. This came out April 3rd on Fearless Records, and this is their uh, ninth album, eighth if you don't count their holiday album. Uh, and this is their follow up to 2017's Phantom Anthem. Uh, so if you uh, don't know August Burns Red, they are a metalcore band from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And, uh, you know, they're kind of my hometown band, basically. Uh, you know, August Burns Red is uh, very popular here because they're from here, uh, from where, where I am. So, um, anyways, I've always enjoyed August Burns Red for a long time. Uh, Constellations from 2009 is one of my favorite records of all time. Um, and, and, you know, I feel like this band's always fairly consistent, but I will say that over the past number of albums, I, I, I don't want to say they're bad albums or anything, but I've just kind of fallen off a little bit. Not that I never listen to these guys at all anymore, but, you know, I feel like, you know, while Phantom Anthem was decent, you know, Found Faraway Places was okay, you know, uh, the, the albums just didn't have as much staying power as, as uh, their earlier albums. Messengers, Constellations, Leveler, um, for example. Uh, and so, you know, I, I'm always curious when August Burns Red puts out new music because they're always, I've always found them interesting because they're they're afraid they're not afraid to try new stuff. Um, yeah, you can you can say they're, um, you know, they're, they're very consistent in what they are, but but they do like to break things up in a lot of their songs and, and get a little fun sometimes, a little, a little different. Uh, a little bit more progressive sometimes. Um, so, you know, I feel like that keeps them, their sound fresh, sort of, in, in a way. And, and so, looking forward to this album, you know, they put out Defender as the lead single. Um, I, I still think that might be my favorite song on here. And, and when that song goes, it is everything I love about August Burns Red. And just heaviness excellent breakdowns fucking awesome super catchy chorus the chorus in that song is just really dark sounding and i really like when august burns red kind of gets uh you know you know they're not afraid to be more melodic on the brighter side and that's one thing i like about them but then sometimes when they get dark oh man it sounds so good so and but then you know you have you know, obviously the best part of that song is the breakdown in the middle. You know, deliver the sentence, bam. And it's just such an incredible punch to the gut that in in just the perfect August Burns Red sort of way that makes me go, yes, this is why I love these guys because they can deliver some stuff like this. And it's just, it's awesome. And, you know, sometimes in metalcore, let me, let's stop all the music. Vocalist screams a line, breakdown can be a little, uh, you know, it's tropey. It can get boring after a while. But I feel like in this instance on Defender, it pops in the best way. So overall, basically, I love this album. And I think this is their best album in a long time. And this is an album that I feel like more than the past three, you know, even Rescue and Restore, which I enjoyed, um, I just feel like it's going to have a lot more staying power with me. I love just about every track on this album personally. And I feel like it's these guys just doing what they do to an excellent level on this album. There's not a bad song uh, for sure. There's some I love more than others. Defender being one of them. I really like the three singles they put out ahead of time. So Bones, Paramount, and Defender. Um, Bones in, in, you know, say uh, Lighthouse is another example where you know they have more um sing singy sort of choruses uh and, and you know jake has been really kind of expanding his vocals i feel and, and he you know his growls his harsher vocals sound better than ever on this album but i like those songs for having more of a catchy sing-along sort of chorus and i think it works really well especially bones is a little bit more on the brighter side i feel uh, but then paramount it's just a fucking banger. And there's so many amazing riffs on here. And, you know, uh, JB, Brubaker, and um, Brent have always been just v guitar virtuosos in the metalcore world to me. I think these guys, they deliver excellent riff uh, after excellent riff 
They have awesome fucking solos all the time. Their lead guitars or you know, a lot of their melodies and everything during choruses or a verse or whatever, a lot of times I feel very creative. And in you know, that they're always exciting. And I feel like when it comes to, you know, a guitar duo in the metal world, they're they're one of the best, man. They 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 truly are and um they deliver on here. Uh and I feel like overall this album's just it's heavier and more aggressive and in your face. Sometimes I feel like on their past few albums, they kind of like, while, while I like the experimentation and I do think it can keep, keep it kind of fresh. Sometimes I felt like, uh, especially say found in faraway places was the album to me that it just felt really forced a lot of times. And I feel like this album is a little more straightforward. Not that they do slow it down or anything like that. You know, break up the song with something different uh, in the middle. It's just, it's more straightforward, more just in your face. We're going to be fucking heavy. There's some crushing songs on here. You know, Defender's one of them, but Dismembered Memory is fucking awesome. Blood Letters, super heavy towards the end of it. Um, Empty Heaven is is really heavy, but then Empty Heaven has just an awesome start to it. You know, on uh, with the lead guitar, it's just in the, the lead melody uh it's it's fantastic and i just feel like there's a hook behind every song whether it's a guitar riff whether it's a breakdown whether it's you know jake's vocals it's just it, it just it hits just differently than 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 it has yet it's still august burns red so i feel like if you're not an august burns red fan i don't really see you enjoying this it's still these guys i just feel like this album just hits way better and way more consistent than their past few releases to me. Um, I really like it a lot, and uh, you know I think it's gonna be gonna be in my top twenty at the end of the year. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, there's still a lot of year left, but also with you know, the situation, who knows how much uh, we'll we'll get. I hope. Hey man, hope we get it all as as uh, planned. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's staying safe. Uh, stay inside, jamming, jam some fucking music. Uh, we have reviews of the new Alestorm and Haken songs, Testament, and Body Count have reviews. We kind of figured something out to where we can um, maybe make some other stuff using the interwebs. And uh, so, yeah, we got some stuff planned. So, anyways, it's 9 out of 10. Let me know what you think of Guardians from August Burns Red. Thanks for watching. See you later.